What's up? Go. Reflections upon my conversation with Gator Martin and Cooley. Do we need a night, a light, or something like that? Uh, it's nothing really so interesting or elaborate because uh, this was actually the first time we met, and this happened a few weeks ago when I was in Nagasaki. Um, Cooley wanted to talk to me about something. Obviously, if you've been watching for a while, you kind of know what that was about. Uh, and uh, it was little intimidating actually in the beginning because I had Wi-Fi and I had to go out to this like beach area and I saw Cooley smiling uh, in the corner and he was happy to meet me and everything uh, first time for all of us but it was Gator who was <laughs> silent totem in the background standing like this about 20 minutes, I think it was about a 40 minute to an hour conversation. It was about a 50 minute conversation if I remember correctly. But Gator was basically like this the entire, almost the entire time. And it was a, a bit intimidating because I had always wanted to meet all of them on a better situation, but, and, and like a better reason to meet all of them. But just like the Avengers are so, we assemble or we get together in a time of crisis. And at that time, it wasn't much of a crisis, but they certainly wanted to hear my opinion on um, some certain situations that were going on at that time. And um, getting that part out the way, I just told them, as I told Gator Martin privately in a, a, a direct message, told him to just stay out of this situation uh, don't say anything about it or don't really you know don't put your two cents into it because uh, it who knows what's going to happen in the future uh, but I gave him just some background information on everything that had been going on at that time but enough of that shit we're getting out of that what I really took away from that conversation was really how unique of a pairing those two are and you know I said this directly to Cooley and I've said this to Gator Martin a few times is uh, you know I've always saw Gator Martin as the Captain America so to speak the first reactor I know my account has actually been out longer and I think technically I believe I have the first reaction of the four I actually have the oldest reaction of my first reaction, but I didn't actually start getting serious into it as a reactor, an actual reactor, um, until way after I think Gator Martin and uh, uh, Ryan and all of them, uh, Tyrone, started. So I came in a lot later and such. And, you know, I just always wanted to give my respects to Gator for really starting this react type of career, I guess you want to call it. I don't know. Uh, whatever, you know, we're just fucking watching movies or videos or whatever. And I've always uh, respected that about Gator, but it's actually Cooley that I have found that has really given an even more a bigger environment to that. That duel actually has really worked out very well with the channel. And I told both of them that, and because Cooley was telling me when he first started on Gator's channel and when they actually uh, started to share the channel, uh, they really wanted to take it slow and kind of slowly introduce them because they didn't really know what the people were going to think. And I thought that they did that really well and I just really wanted to give Cooley my support in showing that they really work well like Captain America and Bucky or Captain America and Win the Winter Soldier now. Or actually no, I'd said he was Falcon, Falcon and I don't remember what the street name was for him but um, yeah Falcon, you guys know what I'm talking about, the black guy. Cut the check. Mm. And so, you know, Gator Martin was up this way for a bit, and I know he was. Mm, I think of all of everybody I've met, I know he's definitely uh, sensitive. I can tell that he's a bit sensitive, but in a good way. Just he really cares about people, care, and he doesn't want to get mixed up in things that aren't necessarily, uh, and without knowing the prior knowledge or any of that. I just don't think he really likes conflict so much, which I think is actually a very good trait in what we're doing here. 
And, uh, but later on, uh, he did start to warm up to me a little bit more in terms of, uh, because I think Cooley had to go do something really quickly. And Gator was just kind of asking me about what, what led me to live in Japan things like that and I asked him about his school and it was just kind of it's very unique sometimes to just kind of get into his life a bit and see more about what he's doing with school and just that 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 college unknowingness you know when you're about to graduate and he's about to graduate just to kind of re reminisce about that college unknowingness of like what's gonna go on next you know, for him, just like all of us, YouTube kind of just started as a bit of a hobby and it's blossomed into something more. And now he's just trying to figure out what to take, uh, where where to go next with his channel. And I think there's, I think especially after hitting 100,000 subscribers, that was a big talk, uh, obviously. We were talking about 100,000 subscribers and at that time he was around 98,000 or so. Um, so we were getting closer, or he was getting closer and closer to breaking that milestone and you could see it, you could see it on Gator's face, you could see it on Cooley's face even though Cooley just recently joined the, the channel, you could see how important, and I stress how important it was going to be to make it to a hundred thousand subscribers so you, and this is something I've always, I've been stressing for the last couple of weeks when people, generally speaking, when people hit a hundred thousand subscribers, there's a reason why they send milestones out. There's a reason why they send plaques out. Because it takes a long time. It's not easy to get to that point. And you could see it on Gator's face. You could see it in, you could see it in their, their hundred thousand uh, subscriber thank you video. They were happy because they know how hard it took for them to get to that point. So, um... So I'm proud of them, I'm proud of both of them actually, you know, they do things on their channel that the rest of us could never even, even imagine doing. And that was pretty much, and then we got, actually we got into anime, and that's when I started to see both the walls, the defenses break down a bit, and I started telling some of my typical jokes, things like that, and to see uh, Gator lose it a bit, and <laughs> this, um... That was good to hear, and uh, Cooley, big, be, be, specifically about Naruto, he's a big fan of Shingeki no Kyojin, and I was telling him about how I was on vacation, going to all the different Shingeki no Kyojin event, uh, spots, and he was very, very hyped about that. I sent him some pictures and such, and it was, uh, it was cool, it was cool. I was on vacation at that time, so it was really, kind of hard to really get into it, but I'm looking forward, because that's the big thing. We're all thinking about when's the next time the four of us, or I should say the four factions, really. But yeah, the four of us, uh, Ryan, Tyrone, Gator, um, and Cooley. Well, yeah, but you know, Gator, Cooley, partner like that and myself when all of us can kind of get together for just doing something and I uh, we've been you know Ryan and I we were talking about that uh, about a month ago about just trying to do something that would compete on the same level as the fine brothers and you know I've been playing around with Skype a lot more and certainly I think we could do something unique I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be just yet because there has to be a reason. We can't just all get together and be like, okay, <laughs> you know, let's take our dicks out or whatever. Sorry, wait, wrong guy. Yeah. But I'm definitely, I know that they're very excited about that and so am I. Whatever project we're going to have, that's what I'm looking forward to next. Uh, there's actually something I just got an email regarding Gator. In terms of a project that I need to forward to him right now and hopefully you guys will know exactly what it is in due time but it, I'm very much enjoying the this and the fact that we're all unified uh, if you watch my Game of Thrones reaction today that was actually coolly skyping me during the uh, my reaction time and he was asking me something about planets and the rotation of the earth it was quite interesting uh, and I don't think he's... I, okay, Cooley, I don't think you're crazy, okay? Don't worry about it. I think about that shit all the time myself. All right, guys. So that's my reflection upon uh, my conversation. My first conversation, real conversation over Skype. 
uh, with Gator Martin and Cooley. I'm looking forward to the time when we all get together. Peace. Thank you.